Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different, something I've never done on my channel before. We are going to be doing a huge makeup declutter. Um, I've been kind of on like a fall cleaning spree, I guess. Um, and I just, I really have so much stuff that I need to get rid of. I'm really in the mood to start purging and all that kind of stuff. So I decided that I was gonna do a huge declutter of my makeup collection. I don't have the biggest makeup collection, but I do have a lot. And there's some really, really old products in there and some stuff that I just don't use, not working for me. So um, I'm gonna go through with you guys today. Um, I thought I would show you a little bit of my makeup collection and then I can get rid of a bunch of stuff, give it away, toss it, whatever needs to be done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna show you every single thing. I'm not gonna show you any of like the boring stuff like eyeliners and mascaras and stuff like that, but we'll definitely go through like primers, foundations, highlighters, things like that. Also, just a quick disclaimer, I'm in no way doing this to brag or say how much good stuff I have or anything like that. Um, I love watching these because I love organizing and cleaning. I think it's very therapeutic and I enjoy watching these videos and seeing what products people have, what they love, what they don't like, so if you guys are interested in seeing me clean out my makeup collection, then let's get started. So these, as you can see, are all my primers. I know it's super excessive. That's why I'm going through all of these. Um, but so basically, I'm just going to thin things out. Um, probably over here is going to be my throwaway, and probably over here is going to be my giveaway. And then up top here, I will probably put all my keeps. So let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i'm gonna grab is this hello fab primer that this is the pores be gone matte primer i've tried this now like two or three times and i just don't like it um it's still relatively full so i am gonna put it in my giveaway pile next up i have the tatcha silk canvas if you watch my channel you know i love this this is my second one and i'm already making a huge dent into it so this is definitely staying then i have this smashbox oil and shine control photo finish primer i am I'm still kind of playing around with this. I just got this a few weeks ago, so I'm going to put that in the keep pile. Natasha Denona Primer. This is the Magic Primer Anti-Shine Flawless Face Base. I love this. I've had this for a really long time, and it's almost empty, so I think I'm just going to hang on to it to finish it up. This was kind of pricey. I do really, really like it, though. Ugh, the YSL Touche Clap Primer. So I actually just did an IGTV using this because I pulled it out. I was like, I haven't gotten enough wear out of it. I need to try it again. I've decided I don't really love it. It's just too slimy for me and too silicone-y, but this was so expensive, and as you can see, I've not used that much, so I'm gonna put it in my giveaway pile. Next, I have the No Problem Touch and Sole. This is like a priming eraser pen. It has like a little sponge tip I don't understand the point of this. That's gonna go in the giveaway pile. Next, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. That's a really pretty one. I have a, another kind of radiance. These are the anti-pollution sunshine drops from Drunk Elephant. These were so expensive. I don't really use them that often, but Again, this was such a pricey item that I'm definitely going to keep it. Then I have a jumbo of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is just like the typical silicone one. It's literally still sealed, haven't even opened it yet, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Next up, I have the Makeup Forever Step 1. Again, if you watch my channel, you know I am obsessed with this. This is such a good mattifying primer. You just have to be really careful with it because if you use too much, it will kind of pill up on you. As you can see, this is pretty used and abused, very well loved. I don't have that much left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it and finish it out. I do really, really recommend this, though, if you have oily skin. Then I have this Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. This is ancient, like, so freaking old. I don't even think they make this anymore or, like, a different pat. I don't know. This is, again, a really silicone-y primer. I don't know. I just, it's old. It needs to get thrown away. Then I have my new Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is the 
taste one. As you can see, I really, really like it. I get a lot of use out of it. This is a really, really nice pore filling primer. It's so smoothing and you only need the tiniest bit. So this does last a really long time. I'm gonna keep that. Next up, I have a, another Touch and Soul primer. This is the Nor No Pore Blum. I don't know why I can never say this one. This is the No Pore Blum primer. I just don't care for this. It's so slimy. It's similar to the formula of the YSL one. I think just like a little bit thinner, but this just slips all over my face and I just, I don't care for it. So as you can see, again, I barely, barely use it. So I'm going to put that in a giveaway pile and all of this stuff. I just want to say in the giveaway is probably going to go to like family members or friends, people that like know me. I'm not going to like donate all of this like gross used stuff. Um, probably going to go to my sister, see what she wants just because I don't want to, I don't want to waste. Next up, I have the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. This is a great mattifying primer from the drugstore. You can get this at Ulta or Target. I really, really love this primer, but again, as you can tell, this is just really, really old and kind of disgusting. I do like to have this guy on hand, but it's just, it's really old. And I have other mattifying primers that I usually reach for. So I think this guy needs to go. Next up, I have this Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I don't really care for hydrating primers. I, again, bought this for a drugstore tested out video. I just, it's just not for me. So I'm going to give this away because I've only used this one time. Next up is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Love this. And it smells like Skittles. It smells so good. I love that it's a pump. Super, super nice packaging. Love Ola Henriksen. So this is definitely staying. Cover FX Gripping Primer. Staying. This is maybe one of my favorite primers like in my entire collection this might be one of my top primers then we have fancy beauty this is the pro filter instant retouch primer honestly this is so this is the mattifying one i know they just came out with a hydrating one i don't know how i feel about this i can't decide if i think it works or if it's just like okay um i do keep it because i haven't had like any issues with it but I'm not like obsessed with it, but I am still gonna keep it because there's still a decent amount in there. Next up, we have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I was obsessed with this for such a long time, so I went out. This is my second one, and I've barely used it because I went through the first one so fast. I think I'm really, really gonna love this primer in more like in more like cooler weather. I wasn't obsessed with it in the summer because it wasn't as mattifying for me, but I think in the winter time when I'm a little bit more dry, this is gonna be so nice and hydrating and it's gonna make my makeup last so long then this is not a primer it's kind of a unique product um, if you guys haven't heard of this this is the urban decay velvetizer so basically what it is it's a very finely finely milled powder like the finest milled powder and basically what you can do is you can use this as a setting power or what I like to do is you can mix this into any foundation and it'll kind of make it a matte foundation so if I have a foundation that I want to use in the summer that's a little bit too glowy or dewy for my skin I will just tap in a little bit of this and it's automatically a matte foundation so I just really like to have this mixing medium it's really really nice I have this Dr. Brandt luminizer primer um I don't care for this and it's kind of old so this is gonna get tossed and then last but not least in here we have the elf poreless putty primer I have only used this a handful of times as you can see it's still pretty much brand new I really like it. I've said this before. I don't think it's an exact dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas, but it's a really, really close one and a fraction of the price. So I'm going to hang on to this one as kind of my drugstore primer since I got rid of some other ones. Um, so this will be my go-to for any drugstore videos that I do. I have a Becca. This is a under eye brightening corrector. I do really like this, even though it's kind of a more oily, slick formula. I think these are really, really nice correctors and I like to have at least one corrector in my pocket pile of concealers just in case. I also have a darker Becca color corrector. This is like a red one and I am going to hang on to this just in case you never know there's going to be like one time where I really really need this and I'm not going to have it. Then my last kind of like eye priming product. This is the Becca anti-fatigue under eye primer. I don't really know if this works, I'm not gonna lie, but it feels really good on the under eyes, so I think I'm gonna hang on to it. So then I have this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. This is really, really old, and quite frankly, I just don't care for the formula of this, so I'm going to toss this guy. Then I have a e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Love this one, need I say more? I've talked about it in a few videos now. I think it's just a really great concealer. I'm definitely gonna keep this for any of my drugstore videos. 
videos. I'm obsessed with this new Benefit concealer. This is the Cakeless Boing concealer. It's so, so good and the packaging is adorable. Definitely saving this. Two Jeffree Star concealers. Those are staying. Ooh, this Beauty Bakery, the Cake Face concealer. Ooh, this was bad you guys i don't know why i still have this this is why i'm going through because i have so much like product that i've tested out and if i don't like it sometimes i forget and just like stick it back in but this this was terrible i hated this so that's going actually i'm gonna put this in the giveaway because i've only used it one time and somebody else might enjoy it as you can see i have a ton of the la girl pro conceals i'm only gonna save a few of these i don't think i need every single color um, I'm going to save kind of the lighter ones and then I'm going to save two contour shades and we'll give the rest away. Then I have the Instant Age Rewind. I have, this is a brightening one and then this is just like a regular... What shade is this? This is in the shade Fair. I'm gonna keep Fair and I'm gonna throw away the brightening one. Next up, I have this Stay Naked Correcting Concealer from Urban Decay. This came out with their new foundation. I personally just didn't care for this. It wasn't full coverage enough for me. It just didn't do the trick. Again, I've only used it one time though, so I'm definitely going to give this to somebody. Next up are my Too Faced Born This Way, the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have two concealing shades and then one shade. I think this is Toffee for contouring obsessed with these. These are some of the best concealers in my opinion. Then I have the regular Too Faced Pour In This Way concealers. These are really, really nice for a no makeup day. I like these. They're lighter coverage, but they're a little bit more radiant and hydrating. So I like these for the winter and for kind of lighter makeup days. These are really, really nice. All right, I'm going to toss light sand. That's really, really old. And then light... I think light is okay. We'll hang on to that one. And then this one still looks okay too. These two naked skin. So I have medium light and then light. Medium light is really, really old and it's pretty much empty. Yeah, that's pretty dried out. So I'm going to toss this guy and I will keep this one. Fenty Beauty. Oh, I hate stick concealers. This is in the shade Bamboo. This is getting given away for sure. Next up, I have a Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I don't even think they make this anymore or you can get it anywhere. So I'm gonna toss this cause I don't wanna use something in my videos that I can't recommend to you guys. And last but not least, I have a Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Meringue. Oh God, this is a great concealer. I know people are like, Eh, about Huda Beauty sometimes, but A, I love the metal applicator. Don't mind it, I know it's disgusting, but it feels so cooling on the under eye and this is just a great product. All right, so as you can see here, the foundations is where the serious purge needs to happen. Um, I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff because there's no way of doing this neatly. There's so much here. To start us off, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna donate these Fit Me's. I just don't wear these ever 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 this is the matte and poreless i don't think it's matte or poreless and i don't think that it lasts a very long time and it's not full coverage actually i'm gonna throw away this lighter one and donate the darker one because that one's like full Ooh, this beauty bakery the cake mix foundation who remember look how it's separated oh my god that's disgusting who remembers this video this was a major fail i literally had to take this off halfway through and start over so i'm not even gonna donate this because i don't see this working well for anyone so this is 110% going in the garbage next I have all of my Maybelline super stays look how empty this is can you tell I'm obsessed um I'm actually gonna keep these because they're a really really great foundation and I keep some of these in my kit too so if I run out I can always grab from there so I'm gonna finish these up I love them I don't want to waste it these are staying okay so I have two makeup forever HD foundations oh god I haven't used this in so freaking long um, I think I'm gonna keep these and put these in my kit actually. Then I have the Pat McGrath Labs, the Skin Fetish Foundation. This is new and I'm obsessed with it. So this is definitely staying. Ooh, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Why did I buy so many of these? So I'm going to donate all of these. I don't remember which ones I've used, um, but I'll just give these to my sister, I think. 
um they're like basically brand new i've only used them a handful of times i thought i loved them and then it just turns out that i hate them so these are getting donated next up is huda beauty oh y'all i love this foundation so much i have angel food and then butter pecan this is so good it makes me break out like crazy because it's so heavily fragranced, but I know if I have a special occasion or something, I can wear this like one time and I can have one really, really good makeup day and I'll just pay for it a few days later with pimples. But I love this, I love the coverage, I love the color, I love, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I just wish it wasn't fragranced and didn't make me break out. As you can see, I have a lot of doubles because I like to get a lighter shade and then a darker shade so I can kind of customize and mix my foundation according to like what level self tan I am. Um, I have a Maybelline Dream BB Pure that's going in the garbage. YSL All Hours Foundation, this is so good. I think that this is gonna be the foundation I wear on my wedding day. This has been my favorite foundation for probably two years now. It's been to hell and back with me. As you can see, it's literally chipped up in the corner there. I am just so obsessed with this foundation. It's just the best. It's so good. It lasts such a long time. It's such a beautiful coverage and finish. If you're looking to splurge on a foundation, I would definitely recommend this. So these three are staying for sure. This is so old. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I think I have a few other of these. I don't know where they are though. This is just going straight in the garbage because I've had this for like three years. I used to be obsessed with this foundation. It's pretty much empty too, so I don't feel that bad about throwing it away. We have Too Faced Born This Way. You guys know I love this. This is staying. I carry this in my kit as well. It's such a pretty natural finish. Same with these NARS foundations. I love these. These are the Radiant Longwear Foundation. As you can see, I've used them quite a bit. Um, I do carry this one in my kit. This is beautiful for brides i think it's so so gorgeous um, i'm definitely going to hang on to these just to finish them up they are pretty pricey so i don't want to waste the product then we have some la girl pro matte foundations again a really light one and a dark one so i can kind of customize these are really really nice foundations really full coverage dry down to a complete matte like very very matte foundations if you haven't tried these and you have oily skin you will probably love these so i'm gonna keep two of these I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Again, a really, really good drugstore foundation. I have a lighter shade and then a more yellowy tone and then a more red tan tone shade. Um, I'm gonna hang on to both of these just depending on where my self tan is and which one I use. I really, really do love these. They smell like paint, they smell terrible, but they're a really, really good drugstore option and they're very, very affordable. I have two, actually I have three of these CC creams. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one just because I prefer the matte formula a little bit more. Um, and these are the exact same shade and then I have a darker one. So I'm gonna get rid of the regular one and hang on to the two matte. I think I'm gonna get rid of these just because you can't get them anymore and I don't want to use products that you guys again can't get your hands on so these are going to get tossed. I have this Estee Lauder EE cream. I think my mom gave me this. I don't ever ever use this. It's just not my cup of tea so that's going to get tossed. And then last but not least, I have my Hourglass. This is the Vanish Stick Foundation. This is not a matte foundation by any means and I normally only get matte foundations, but this, when I tell you, is one of the best foundations I've ever used. I'm, I'm not being dramatic. I don't like stick foundations and this is fabulous. Like, so, so good. Run and go get these if you've never tried them before. So these are absolutely staying. So I'm just gonna, again, just start reaching. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, so I guess, um, I'll start with this. This is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. <sighs> I mean, look at that. That's clearly staying. Then I have Classic MAC Soft and Gentle. I actually have two of these, one in my kit as well. So this is a good backup in case I ever run out of what's in my kit. And I also just love the formula of that. I mean, it's just so beautiful. All right, next up I have these Morphe highlighter drops. These were supposed to be like a dupe kind of for the cover FX. They just didn't do it for me. I'm not crazy about them. The colors are really, really pretty though. Um, so I don't wanna, I don't know what I wanna do with these. I think this lighter one is what I use the most. So I'll definitely get rid of this one. Um, and then this gold one is going to go in the giveaway pile. Then I have like the real deal, the cover FX illuminating drops. I have celestial and then moonlight. This is kind of pinkier as you can see. And this is like a rose goldish color. 
love both of these these are definitely staying i have the mark jacobs do you do drops oh these are such a classic like people used to rave about these and i love them so i'm definitely keeping them next up i have a another fenty beauty a matchstick in the shade trippin i don't like this it's not very pigmented it's really hard it's not creamy or comfortable to wear and then it just it doesn't give me enough so this i think i'm gonna give away yeah, I'll give this away. Maybe my sister will like that. I have two of these Wet n Wild Loose Illuminators. These are so good, you guys, and they're huge. They're literally one of the most amazing highlights at the drugstore, and they're so super affordable. I have I'm So Lit and then Hustle and Glow. These are stunning. They don't emphasize texture. They don't do any of that, and you can, since they're loose, you can mix them into a body lotion or even to your foundation and get like a really luminous glow. So I love these. These are definitely staying. Next up, we have Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. Oh my God, I used to be obsessed with, look how old this is. That's gonna go in the trash just because I bought this because Casey Holmes said that I needed it, obviously. Um, so I just, this is beat up. But I mean, it's a huge pan. It's a really, really beautiful, like a golden highlighter. It looks so scary in the pan, but it's really, really pretty on the skin. But I just have other gold highlights. This is so old. It's gonna go in the trash. I have four of the... Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Highlights. These are all so, so pretty. I love them so much. I'm thinking that I'm gonna get rid of, oh, I'm definitely keeping Gilded Honey for sure. And then what is this one? Charming Pink. And then this is Peach Glow. I think I'm gonna get rid of Charming Pink. I'll give that one away. And then Peach Glow is staying, and then this is Diamond Dust. That's a really fun one. It's like a hollow pink, really, really pretty. Next up, I have this e.l.f. highlighter, which I actually just tried out in a video. I don't know why it's in here. I despise this product. This is not even worth giving away. This is going in the garbage. Then I have a Fenty highlight in Hustla Baby, and I actually have more Fenty highlights here. I'm pretty sure I, this is a double. Yep, so I have Mean Money and Hustle Baby right here. I'm going to keep the big one and give away the smaller one. And then along with Fenty Beauty, I have Trophy Wife. This is a must in like every single collection. Then I have two of the Desi Katie Dose of Colors collab highlights. This is Chasing the Sun, a darker one. And then I also have Fuego. I'm going to keep these just because they're limited edition and the packaging is so, so beautiful. I don't need them both, but I really, really love them. Anastasia Omrezi, you know this highlighter is one of the best ever because everybody talks about it. This is staying. This NYX Duochrome, oh my God, I hate this. This is like gray. Can you see that? It's supposed to be like a hollow pinky per. No. This is just going in the garbage. Then I have my Pixie by Petro. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo. As you can see, I'm obsessed with this highlight. It is beat to hell, but I really like that it has a darker shade and a lighter shade in one, and it's just such a stunning highlight. Then we have three of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector highlights. I have, what one is this? This is Champagne Pop, love this one. I have this, oh my God, look how old this is. This is Moonstone. I'm not crazy about Moonstone. I might give this one away. And then I have Prosecco Pop, which is a really nice champagne -y gold color. I have three of these Wet n Wild Illuminating Powders. I have this one, which is brand new, hasn't even been opened. So that's gonna go in the giveaway. Then I'm gonna keep these two shades. Oh my God, I used to be obsessed with this. This is so pretty. This is the Artist Couture Highlight. I mean, oh my God, this, this is a highlight, y'all. And this is in the shade Illuminati. I got this in a BoxyCharm like before Artist Couture was like a thing. And this is so stunning for like four formals and like very 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 glam events so I hang on to this for only special occasions because it is so over the top. I have three of the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters. If you don't know these are like the putty like can you see that? What shade is this? Transcendence. I'm never on this green earth you know wear this shade so this is a giveaway for sure. This one is bronze. I'll keep that one. This one's really really pretty. And then this is Kitten. I'll hang on to that one too. And then we have a Jeffree Star highlight. This is in the shade Siberian Gold. I'm not obsessed with these skin frosts. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't know. 
Actually, that's really freaking gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna keep this and play with it a little bit more. Ugh, Anastasia Aurora. I'm gonna keep this in case I need to do any like fun Halloween looks or anything like that. Next, I have this Milani Stellar Lights Rose Gold. Mmm. I think this can go on the giveaway. I don't think that I need this. Ooh, the Ofra Glow Up Palette. Ugh. Y'all, this has so many good highlight shades in it. I'm obsessed with this. Definitely keeping it. Then I have this Makeup Revolution highlighter thing. Um, I used to be obsessed with this too. I think I'm going to give this away though. I have the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light. I'm going to keep this. This is such a pretty highlighting palette as you can see. This one's pretty chunky. I don't really use that because it's super glittery, but these three are so beautiful. Then I have Bretman Rock Morphe Babe in Paradise. Love this. It has so many shades in it. Very, very versatile. I used to keep this in my kit, so I might go back to using it sometime. So I'm going to hang on to it just in case. Then I have the Glam Glow, oh, the Glow Powder, the Hyaluronic. Mm, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I just don't, I don't reach for it. So this is gonna be a giveaway. Then I have the MAC Hyper Real Glow. Love these. I think, I can't remember which one this is. It's like the rose gold one. I love this. It's a really, really great highlight palette. I'll keep that. Oh my God, these Smashbox Spotlight Palettes Gold. Shoot, I don't use this. This is gonna get given away. This is the Casey Holmes collab though. Look how much I loved that one. I'm gonna keep this just because it's limited edition. The Flower Beauty Palette, this is staying. These are some of the creamiest. Oh my God, these are amazing, amazing, amazing highlights. If you are looking for a good drugstore palette, this one is gonna be your friend. And then I have the Becca Chrissy Teigen Palette. Oh, I haven't used this in so long, but it's really, really pretty. I might stick this in my kit for bridal actually. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this. It looks really stunning, very peachy and like warm, glowy. So this guy's gonna stay. So I kind of need to purge a decent amount of these. So I'm just gonna start um, back here, I guess. This is the Rose Champagne Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. I got this as a blush topper. It's just, I don't reach for it. This is trash. Next up, I have the Anastasia Blush Trio. Um, this is in Peachy Love. This is definitely staying. I uh, love all of these brush, blush trios. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just pull them out. I have pink passion and then i also have cocktail party and then i also have pool party which this is like i don't really ever use this shade but this one's really nice this one looks like it's in rough shape um this is sun basque oh it's so good it's so so beautiful it's such a shimmery pretty color so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. This is MAC Gingerly, one of my absolute favorites that's staying. And then I also have Melba, again, just one of my favorites, a little bit pinker, but still really, really peachy and beautiful. Then I have, oh, I have this Burt's Bees blush. I used to be so obsessed with this. It's like a bright peachy orange color. I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's very unique. As you can see, Bindi chewed on it, but it's staying. Then I have this Jordana blush, and this is in the shade Touch of Pink. I don't use this anymore. I used to be obsessed with it, but I just, I don't like it anymore. So this is gonna go in the trash pile. Actually, these are like the exact same shade. So I'm gonna keep Benefit Dandelion and I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Hourglass in Luminous Flush. That's really pretty. It's like when you swirl it together, it's a nice like baby pink color. And I like the mini cause I'm never gonna go through like an entire blush. Like there's no way. So I like these minis. Then I have Kevin Aquan. This is Helena. Oh, this is such a pretty like mauvey pink. Obsessed with that one. So I actually have two at NARS Orgasm blushes. Um, I have this big one, which is a classic. I'm gonna keep it. And then a little mini one. I'm gonna give this little mini one away. I have this Lorac blush in the shade Spectra. I really do enjoy Lorac's blush formulas and I'm going to keep this one. I have this Burt's Bees blush. This one is in the shade Shy Pink. Let me see. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one away. Then I have this Wet n Wild Ombre blush. No, I'm getting rid of this. Then I have Breath of Plum. I do really like this like purpley shade though from MAC. And then I have MAC 
for sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep this MAC one and I'm going to donate this Lorac one. They're very, very similar. And then I have another Hourglass. This is Mood Exposure. Love this one for a mauve color. Another blush that looks like absolutely nothing on the cheeks, but I love, love, love is this Hourglass one. This is in Brilliant Nude. So freaking pretty. I love this. This might be what I wear when I get married, I think. Then I have a California from Benefit. This is, I love like bright peach blushes like this. So that's gonna stay. I have this Paradise Enchanted Peach Blush from L'Oreal. I love this. This is a really, really great drugstore one. And I just love how orange it is. Like it's so good. I'm gonna keep this for sure as well. I have two of the Cover FX Blush Duo things. I have Warm Honey. That one is so beautiful. Then I have Spiced Cinnamon. This one's kind of dark. I think I might give Spiced Cinnamon away. Okay, so next up is bronzers and bronzing palettes. I'm just gonna right off the bat start with these butter bronzers. These are all staying. I know I have three of them, but this is Sunset Bronzer, this is Deep Bronzer, and then this is Sculpting Bronzer. So they are all different shades. I'm definitely keeping these. They're some of my favorite bronzer formula. And then I do have two NARS bronzers. This is in the shade Casino. That's way too dark for me, so that's gonna be a giveaway. And then I have Laguna. That's a classic, that'll stay. I have Benefit Hula, love that, always gonna stay. I have this Rosewood Bronzer from Anastasia, a really great color, that's gonna stay. What is this? Glamour Bronze, this is so old, that's trash. Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, new. Oh, I remember this. I only used this once, but it was so shimmery. So that's gonna be a giveaway. Then I have this Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Oh, this is in the shade Light. Um, I am gonna keep this just because it was so freaking expensive. Next, I have this Rimmel London Radiance Brick. Oh, I only used this once too. That's gonna be a giveaway. I have this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, this was really, really nice. I actually really like that. So I'm gonna keep that. Fenty Beauty, this is an island thing. Love this bronzer so much. That's staying, what is this? Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I should probably get rid of this, it's so old. But I love it, it's so good. Actually, although I do have this mini one. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the mini one and I'm gonna throw this one away because it's really, really old. What is this? Too Faced Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer. No freaking way, I'm never using that. That's a giveaway. This. Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bronzed Bondi. Oh, I love this one. This one's really, really good. I'm keeping that for sure. Then I have an Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Oh, I think I wanna use this for my wedding. It's so freaking pretty. So definitely keeping that guy. And then I do have my Chanel Soleil de Tan. Extremely overpriced extremely good. This is Debutante. Oh, I do love this bronzer a lot. I'm gonna keep that one. I have the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer. Love this as a contouring powder, a really nice cool tone bronzer. That's gonna stay. It doesn't fit in here though, so I'm just gonna put it off to the side. Same with this Morphe one. It does not fit in this compartment, but this is Megastar. It's huge. I love huge bronzers like this. Then I have a Huda Beauty. This is the cream contour. What? the tan and tone. Mine is so dark, but I can make it work. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, I think. And then I have another match stick in the shade Mocha. I'm gonna give that away. I'm not even gonna attempt. Um, and then Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Oh, I never use this, but I do really like it. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, that's staying a classic. Really, really good. Same with the Powder Contour Kit. I'm definitely gonna keep that. I really don't use this one as much. Um, Tardist Pro Glow. Mm, I can probably give that away. Ooh, Kat Von D Shade and Light. I do really, really love this. I don't like Kat Von D, but I do love this. Same with this Tarte Pack Park Ave Princess. This is so good. I actually have two of these. One of them is still new in the box. Um, so, but this is a really, really great contour palette. So I am going to, we'll toss this one cause it's old. I think I have plenty of contour palettes here. And then I have this Morphe, this highlight and contour palette in 8L. I don't like this at all. 
you can't even tell how yellow it is on camera but these shades are just not wearable and i've never used this one i probably would never use this one the only two i use here are donut and debutante but i have debutante in a single so i'm gonna give this away all right you guys so this is oh my god you can't even see how many palettes are here this is the one i've been kind of dreading these are all of my eyeshadow palettes like can you see how many freaking eyeshadow palettes i have eyeshadow palettes are my favorite to buy as you can clearly tell so i'm gonna try and breeze through this but this is probably gonna be the longest section um okay so we're just gonna start grabbing from the top the first one i have is this huda beauty new nude oh this is so pretty and i haven't i don't know if i've played with this enough i need this i'm keeping this Too faced just peachy oh my god i used to be so obsessed with this all matte palette I do still really, really love this one, so I'm gonna keep that too. For travel, I like these smaller palettes. Next up, I have the Tarte Tartlet. This is a really great all matte palette again, but this is a cool toned version, so I'm gonna keep that. Smashbox Cali Kissed. Oh, I was sent this, I didn't buy this. This is really nice packaging. Um, I just don't think I'm ever gonna use any of these shades. Yeah, I'm gonna give this guy away. Next, we have Anastasia Modern Renaissance. As you can see, this thing is beat up, but I love this palette so much. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm definitely keeping this guy. Same with Prism. I think the color story in this is so unique and I just am obsessed. I'm probably gonna keep, yeah, like all my Anastasia palettes. This is Sultry, another super, super beautiful one. Next up, I have the Violet Voss Essentials palette. Um, I just did a video with this. I think I'm gonna give this away. Next up, we have Pat McGrath Labs. Oh, this one's so pretty. I think I'm gonna keep this just because it's so expensive and it is Pat McGrath. I'll hang on to that one for a little bit longer. I have this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. This is gonna be a giveaway. Oh my God, all my Lorac palettes. These are just gonna go straight in the garbage because they're so old. Yeah. Those are trash. Next up, I have Tartlet in Bloom. This is a really, really travel-friendly palette. Love that. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, Urban Decay Naked. Yes, because they don't make it anymore, so I have to keep that. Pure Soiree Diaries. Ooh, I love this one too. Dang. Um, I'm gonna keep this one just because it has so many good mattes in it, and I do reach for this quite a bit. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. This is such a versatile palette, and the formula on these shadows are amazing, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. I've barely used this. Then I have the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collab. Oh, it makes me so sad that this one broke. It's just such a beautiful shade. I never reach for this palette because it is broken, but there are so many other good shades in here, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. Then I have Anastasia Subculture. People complain about this. I really like it. I think it's nice for wintertime and like deeper looks. I don't use this to do a complete look, but I do reach for this for specific colors because they are so unique. I don't have a palette like this, so that's gonna stay. Okay, this Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette. Um, Was not impressed with this. I did a review on it in one of my videos. That's gonna be a giveaway because I've only used it one time. Then I have The Warrior by Juvia's Place. Ooh, I am obsessed with the formula of these. Like. Look at that. Too Faced Natural Lust. I feel like I'm not throwing enough away. This is really nice. I do really, really love this one too. This is good for clients like bridal. So sometimes, occasionally, I will stick this in my kit. Next, I have this Morphe. What is this? Oh, this is the 350. I'm gonna hang on to that because it's beautiful. Jaclyn Hill Morphe. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes like to date, no matter what. I think this is such a good palette. I love the formula of these shadows. I think these are the best Morphe shadows they make. Um, cause I think the formula is a little bit different than like the 350 palettes and stuff. This is just 10 out of 10. Love every single thing about it. This color right here is my favorite. Next I have this BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. Oh my God. I forgot how tiny the pan size was on these guys. So again, I bought this when I was doing more colorful looks and I just 
the shadow quality is not there. So this is going to be a giveaway. So this is the Bright Mattes by Beauty Bay. So any other colorful palette, like I'm getting rid of because this has every shade I could possibly need. And the formula on these is the most amazing. These palettes are so inexpensive. I think this was like 20 bucks and these are amazing, amazing, amazing shadows. I have two of the Jeffree Star palettes. I have Blue Blood which I mean, hello. And then I also have Blood Sugar. These are so great and the packaging is just so iconic. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to these. I don't reach for them like every day because I mean, the colors are so crazy, but I do really love these shadows. They blend really nicely and I've done some really fun looks with them. So I'm definitely gonna keep these. And then quickly, I am keeping all of these palettes. These are my Natasha Denona palettes. Next up, we have this Tarte Pro palette. Um, This is really nice. I just don't use it so this is going to be a giveaway uh naked reloaded oh my sister would love this i'm going to give this away to her um this is a really great palette it's nice it's just i don't reach for it that often then i have bh cosmetics carly bible oh man I do really like this palette. I'm gonna think about this one for a second. And then I have the Morphe Bronze Gold palette. I just, I'm keeping the 350, so I think that this one can get given away for sure. So next up, I have my glosses and all of my lipsticks here. I'm gonna kind of zip through this just because I have a pretty good idea of what I wanna get rid of. Um, so I'm gonna start with the glosses actually. So I have these NYX butter glosses. These are some of my favorite formula for lip glosses. I have kind of a peachy and then a red. I don't really wear these colors that often, but I like to have the option. Then I have two nude Morphe glosses. These are also really, really great. I have Freebird and then Boho a deeper nude and then a really pinky nude. I'm keeping those. And then I also have these Morphe glosses, this neon pink. I'm never gonna use this. I don't think I have ever used it. So this is gonna go in my giveaway pile here. Um, I have this gold gloss, which I actually really like. I think it's really, really pretty. It's just a nice like bronzy gloss. And I do like the Morphe formula. So I'm gonna hang on to that. And then I have this deep purple shade which I don't know if I would wear this. It's kind of interesting. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this one because I don't really have any colors like that. If you've been watching my past few videos, these NYX lip lingerie glosses are some of my favorite. Just like super pigmented, creamy, oh, they're just so great. They are a very thick gloss though, just warning you. Again, really great price. And then I do have these lip toppers from Dose of Colors. This one is in Over the Top. These were the Desi Katie collab again. Just so freaking pretty. And then I also have the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. This is a classic. I will never ever get rid of this. And these smell amazing. I love it just to toss in your purse. Really great size. Such a beautiful formula. I have the Dior. This is the Lip Maximizer. And mine is in the shade, just like the nude one. I am obsessed with this gloss. It's so good. One of my favorites. And then of course, Marc Jacobs, another classic. Classic. I bought this when Jacqueline Hill recommended it and I've been buying it ever since. This is just the perfect nude gloss. I do have two Bare Minerals glosses. Um, this is Cosmic and then this is Yes. I don't really, I don't think I've ever used these before. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep these because I do wanna play around with them. This pinky color though, I'm never gonna use, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and keep the nude. I know, how many nude glosses do I need? I then have this Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper, and what shade is this? I don't even know. This is Topaz. Okay, that's like a gray-blue color. That is gonna be a giveaway. Oh my god, these, I don't even know how old they are, but they've never been used. I have these Stila lip glazes. Um, I don't even know what colors these are. 
uh, this peachy one I've used, but I am keeping that NYX peach gloss, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna trash this one, and I will give this one away since it hasn't been used yet. Then I have this Anastasia gloss in Orchid. I am never, ever, 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 ever going to wear this color, so that's a giveaway. Lip Plumper from Victoria's Secret. Oh, this is so old. That's going in the garbage for sure. I have a Kylie gloss. You guys know I cannot stand her liquid lips, but the glosses... Oh, these are great. And this is in the shade, literally, definitely keeping that. This is one of my favorite nude glosses as well. This is Barely There by Dose of Colors. This is with the I Love Sari collab. Again, just such a good nude. If I'm wearing a gloss, it's usually like a mauve pink or a nude. I am gonna keep this Too Faced Lips injection um, just because I do like some lip plumpers and this color is really like, it's actually very natural once you put it on. And then I just have some more Dose of Colors lip glosses. Um, this baby pink, I don't have a color like this, so I should probably keep it. And then a really nice nude and then a deeper mauve since I am tossing this guy. Like I said, I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. I am going to keep all of my MAC lipsticks. I have Velvet Teddy, I have Whirl, Honey Love, Half and Half. I have some of the Powder Kiss. They're a really, really great formula too. So I'm gonna keep this down here is pretty much gonna stay. Um, I really just wanna go through like more of my drug, drugstore lippies. Okay, these all need to go. These are incredibly old. All these wet and wild ones are just gonna get tossed. Um, these are also incredibly old. I used to be obsessed with these. Like I literally wore this to my prom in high school, I'm pretty sure, so that's gotta go for sure. Those are getting tossed. Yeah, there's like weird stuff on these lipsticks. I would not feel comfortable using that. Anyways, I'm not giving them away. I'm just throwing them away. Yep, that's, no, this is the one I wore to my senior prom. Oh my God, bye. Throw that away. What is wrong with you? See, the thing is, I know better too, but I'm being stubborn. Okay, um, back here, I just have some lip scrubs. These are gonna stay. What is this? Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, this is very Cindy. That's so pretty. That's one of the matte ones. What is this one then? Oh, this is Kim KW. Mm, shoot, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll keep that one, that's fine. So those will go up there. What is this? Marc Jacobs. This has never been used before. Kiss Pop lip color. I'm never going to use that. So that can go giveaway. What is this? Lovecraft by Kat Von D. I don't really like Kat Von D. Mm, I'm gonna give that one away. This is Baddest Beige. I will keep that. That's a nice lip topper. Um, let me see. What is this? Nude Nuance. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. What is this? Touch of Spice. Let me... mm, that can be a giveaway. Toasted Truffle. That's really pretty. I don't like super pink lipsticks, if you can't tell. What is this one? Brown Blush. Uh, I don't like that one. That one could be a giveaway too. Sexy Mother Pupper from Soap and Glory. What is the shade? Mm, I have a million colors like that, so that can get tossed. It's very old. So this is pretty much what we're left with, which I'm really proud. I got rid of definitely like half. Alrighty guys, last but not least, I'm gonna go through these like container things here that I just keep on my desk. These are where I keep all of my liquid lipsticks. So here I kind of have my nudes and then on here I have like pinks, oranges, reds. And then this is a tool drawer um, that I need to make room for because it doesn't shut all the way. So I wanna get rid of some of these things so that way I can get this to shut, maybe move some products up here. So starting with this drawer here, I'm just gonna go through these rather quickly. Um, I have a Morphe Virgin here. What is this? This is Morphe True Story. I do really, really love Morphe Liquid Lipstick Formula, so I'm gonna keep those. And then these, I've been obsessed with the Matte Soft Lip Cream, so I'm gonna keep those for sure. Love Anastasia love dose of colors i do not love this though that can get trash what is this kat von d this is bow and arrow i don't like kat von d liquid lips they're way too drying for me but i know my sister does so i'm going to move that guy over here so that drawer now looks nice and neat like that okay this is kind of like my pinkier nude 
colors, I guess, but still warmer toned. Dulce K. I don't like Kylie lip, but again, my sister does, so I'm going to give that to her. And then I have Dose of Colors. I'm keeping all of these. Jeffree Star, so good, can't relate. This was a limited edition, so I'm definitely keeping that guy. More Jeffree Star, Dose of Colors. This Beauty Bakery lip, I actually really, really do enjoy. This color is so unique. I think this is, what is this? Ginger, I think? Ginger Snap. Super, super good. I have a, another Morphe liquid lip. This one's really, really pretty too. This trashing, don't like that. Ofra, mm, this one's kind of old. These two are like essentially the exact same color, so I'm going to toss that because it's old. So these are all of my cool toned lip colors. Um, I think I'm gonna keep all of these actually. This drawer is really good. And here, these are all of my like mauve pink shades. What is this? Superstay ink. Nope. No way. I will give that away. I don't think I've ever used it. Tarte lip paint is really, really good. Yeah, I love all of these. What is this? This is Vanity. Super, super good. Ooh, the e.l.f. liquid lipstick. Let me see. I don't remember. I don't really like that. That makes me look dead, so I'm going to give that one away. But the rest of these I think are really good. What is this? Stila Patina. This is so old, but I refuse to get rid of it because this was like one of my very first liquid lips oh it's so pretty so down here we have some more like ready mauvey colors this buxom what is this wildly whipped soft matte lip color i'm probably not gonna use that i will give that to my sister meet matt hughes oh my god i used to be so obsessed with this but that's so old so trash kylie ulta beauty oh this was sent to me uh, nope, don't like it. Giving that away. This Ofra one, kind of the same color. I'm going to toss this because it's old. This is Suck It. Love that one. Lolita. Oh my god, this is such a classic color, but I just don't, I just don't like it. I don't like the formula at all, so that's going to be a giveaway. Lip paint, really love, and then the Girlactic one. I don't know that I've used this before. That one's really pretty too. So I will keep those three. So this is what I call my fall drawer. I mean, look at these colors, they're so good. I just did a video using Forza. Guys, this is the most stunning fall shade in the entire world. Definitely keeping that. Um, the only one I think I'm gonna get rid of, oh, I do love this shade though. What is this? This is Cowboy, I think. I'm gonna keep Cowboy, and I'm gonna get rid of this velvet matte thing from Maybelline, so that drawer is good. This drawer is my reds. I have some orangey. These Smashbox liquid lips are really, really good. I have Dose of Colors, those are nice. Ooh, ColourPop, no, trash. Here we have all of these colors. I think these are all good. I'm gonna hang on to all of these. This drawer looks nice. I enjoy the formula of every single one of these, so these will all stay. Those are kind of like my berries and purples. In here, this is my like super off the wall drawer. So right off the bat, I'm never gonna wear that shade. So that'll be a giveaway. Never gonna wear this shade, that'll be a giveaway. Never gonna wear this shade, giveaway. I'm not into metallic lips. I just, I don't like it. Um, What is this? Giveaway, this is trash, so stinking old. Um, I'll keep this bright pink, and then these two are going to be giveaway. All right, here it is. Excuse you, get your butt out of the way. Get your butt out of the way. So here is everything I am tossing. It really doesn't look like that much, but it is. It's a lot, I promise. And then this is the giveaway pile. So I tried to, oh God, I'm making a mess. I tried to give away the majority of it. I don't wanna waste products. So things that I've only used like once or twice, I definitely put in the giveaway pile and then this is like really old or crappy stuff. Alrighty, you guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed organizing and decluttering with me today. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I have lots more exciting videos coming your way, so I will see you in my next one.